Hey everyone, so in this video, I wanna go over what I feel like are the three most important keyboard shortcuts if you're animating inside of Maya. So sometimes it can be easy to just stick with a software's default setup when it comes to their keyboard shortcuts. But actually going in there and changing and customizing your keyboard shortcuts to how you actually like to work and a setup that makes more sense when it comes to animation can really help actually speed up your process when you're animating. So that's what we're gonna go over here. So I have a scene set up inside of Maya using the Lisa I animate rig, and this is just that two hit combo attack. So the first thing that I would wanna change from Maya's default settings is how to actually turn off and show control curves. So whenever I'm working in Maya, typically I'm always turning on my control curves and turning off my control curves. If I want to adjust any part of my animation, obviously I would go in there and have them on. So to do that normally in Maya, you would go up here to show and then just hide NURBS curves. And then you can play your animation. And then when you want to turn them back on, you can go up here to show and then turn on NURBS curves. So it might seem like a pretty quick process of having to go up here and just toggle this on and off. But if you put this option on a keyboard shortcut, it actually saves you a whole lot of time because you're always turning off your control curves and turning them back on. So to change this, I'm gonna go up here to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and open up the Hotkey Editor. And once we have this open, what we're gonna do is go over here to Custom Scripts. And I'm just gonna go over here to the Runtime Command Editor, and I'm just gonna hit New. So for this name, I'll just name it something like Control Curves show hide, just something like that, just so I know what this actually does. And then what I need to do is bring in a custom script. So I'm gonna make sure I have this script in the description below so that you can grab this and use this for your own scene. So I already have it copied on my computer, so I'm just gonna paste it. And this is the script we need to be able to toggle our control curves off and on. So I'll go ahead and do save runtime command, it says it's been saved. And then on the hotkey, what I'm gonna do is just put this on C. This is typically where I have this hotkey set up. You can see that it gives us a warning letting us know that this is already assigned to the curve snap tool. If you don't want to change the hotkey for this, you can always pick a different hotkey or even do like a combo. Maybe it's Alt and C to turn off and on your control curves. I don't really need that other tool when I'm animating, so it's fine for me just to have it on C. So what I'll do is just hit save and close, and then we can test this out. So now every time we hit the C key, we're toggling the visibility of our control curves. And as you're working in here, and you're going in here, you're adjusting a control curve really quickly, then you wanna see your animation, you can very quickly toggle those control curves on, and you're actually saving a whole lot of time than you would if you had to go over here to the show dropdown every time you want to toggle those control curves on. So the next really important keyboard shortcut that I wanna go over is how you actually frame by frame your timeline and then jump between the main key poses. So by default in Maya, if you hold Alt and press the period key, you're going to jump forward one frame. So you can basically just frame by frame your animation. And then if you hold Alt and press the comma key, you're going backwards. So you're frame by framing your animation in the opposite direction. So you can scrub between your animation very quickly using those hotkeys. The other option you have is just to let go of Alt and press the period key to jump between the key poses on your timeline. So you can see every time we press that, we're jumping between the key poses of our animation. And then the comma key just jumps backwards. So this hotkey setup in Maya by default is okay, but typically when you're animating, you actually have your hand on the left side of your keyboard most often. So if you're wanting to jump between manipulators, so going to the move, rotate, and scale tool, that's all on the left side of your keyboard. And then if you wanna frame by frame your animation, you have to jump to the other side of your keyboard. So just minimizing the amount of movement you're having to do across a keyboard is really helpful. So what we're gonna do is change these hotkeys. So we'll go up here to Windows, Settings Preferences. We'll go into the Hotkey Editor again. And really the fastest way to find these hotkeys is just go over here to search by, choose hotkey. And for this, we're gonna just press the period key and that's going to show those hotkeys associated with that key. So you can see we have it under playback. We have next key is set to period and then the next frame is set to alt period. So what we're gonna do is just go to next frame and I'm gonna actually put this on the number two. I like to have it at the number two because my hand is already on that side of the keyboard and it's very easy for me to press that button without having to move my hand really at all. So I'll put that on the number two to basically just jump to the next keyframe. And then for the next frame, I'm gonna change that to Alt two. So now that we have that set, I'm gonna go back to the hotkey search and I'm gonna type in the comma key. And then I'm gonna change the previous key hotkey to one on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna change it to Alt one for the next keyframe and I'll hit save and close, and then we can test this out. So now if we just press two on our keyboard, we're jumping forward each keyframe on our timeline. And then if we press 
one, we're jumping backwards each keyframe. And then obviously holding Alt, we're able to just frame by frame our animation. So you can see by changing that shortcut, you're really having to minimize the amount of movement you're doing across the keyboard. And you're keeping all of your really important shortcuts on one area of the keyboard. So the next thing I wanna go over is how we can very quickly scrub our animation. So sometimes when you're working in Maya, you wanna go down here to the timeline and actually scrub by just clicking your mouse in the timeline and dragging back and forth. So you can kind of get a good sense of the flow of your animation. Now a keyboard shortcut for this in Maya is if you hold K down and then click your mouse, you're able to scrub back and forth without having to actually move down to your timeline. So you can be really working anywhere in the viewport, hold K down and then just click and drag. So you're not having to move your mouse down to the timeline. So for this, we're actually just going to change the keyboard shortcut to basically toggle that scrubbing on and off. So what we're gonna do is just go back up here to Windows and then we'll go up to the hotkey editor. And then just like before, we're gonna go to hotkey search and I'm gonna type in K and you can see we have the time dragger tool active and deactive. So what we're gonna do is change this to the tilde key. The tilde key is the key right next to the number one. And again, I wanna make sure I'm keeping everything sort of in the same area on my keyboard. That way we can quickly scrub our animation just by hitting the tilde key. And I'll change it on the deactivate as well. And then we'll hit save and close. Now, if we hold down the tilde key, click in the viewport, we're able to just drag back and forth in our animation. And this drag option is really helpful to being able to really see the flow of your animation. If you're just pressing Alt and one and two, you're able to frame by frame your animation, but you kind of have to do it pretty slowly. This way you can get a bit better of a sense of the movement through your animation. Obviously, the faster you move the mouse, the faster it's going to scrub through your animation. So hopefully this video was helpful for you in seeing really the benefits of making sure you're changing the keyboard shortcuts to a way that actually works better for animation. So you're not having to move your hand all over the keyboard. You can keep everything sort of contained in one area. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe or leave a comment in this video if you have any questions or maybe you have a suggestion for a future tutorial.